Hey Fixer family, it's Charmin, and I have an extra special video for you today. Today I have taken part of a challenge called Girls Can Use Power Tools Too, and I'm so excited about this challenge. It is hosted by Natalie Callahan from over at Design to the Nines and co-hosted by Heidi Sambel from Happily Thriving Heidi. And if you guys have never been to their channels before and checked out their videos, I highly recommend you guys jump over there and see what their channels are all about. A lot of design, a lot of uh, challenges, um, things that they're doing to their homes and uh, just exciting. I love their channels. I love their personality. I'll make sure that I link their, uh, I will put their link to their channels in the description below as well as the playlist that will be down there for this challenge. So guys, I'm so excited to be a part of this challenge and get this project started. Welcome to Fixin' Two. can see right here um, this has been well loved it has the this is definitely faux leather or pleather or whatever you want to call it and so it has definitely seen better days and so we are going to um, take this uh, they're going to take off the top and we're going to remove this cover and recover it and I have some canvas that I am going to recover it, but I'm going to do something fun with this canvas um, before drop cloth material, whatever you want to call it, before I put it back on here. So I'm ready to get started, first of all, by taking off this top. flathead screwdriver and there is all kinds of little um, I guess staples in here holding this backing on let me show y'all you can see the staples along the edge here I hope you can <laughs> I'm gonna take this backing off I just easily kind of Pulling these up and um, started over here in this corner. Oh, actually, right here. And um, it may come up without. Yeah, maybe not. But anyway, I'm going to take this off using a flat head or something to get this off, and uh, we'll go from there. As you guys can see, this was a hard, tedious job. It really took a lot of elbow grease trying to get this off, and I got pretty frustrated about it. But of course, my sweet husband came to the rescue. My husband gave me a, a great idea. I'm using this little screwdriver. We've got this set that's like a really small little flathead and my hammer and putting it, it fits right up under this staples and I'm just putting them right under the edge of it and tapping it and then giving it just a little tug to lift it. Once I lift it, then I can take my needle nose pliers and pull them out because this is a, the tedious part of the job, but it will be well worth it. Thank you. 
What you see me doing here is I'm cutting the string that actually holds the buttons on the um, seat cushion, and I'm not going to be using those again. And I just took out a few of the ones in the bulk sections and then just cut the other ones off because I don't need to save this. I'm just going to use it as a template. And now we have taken off the cover off of the uh, bench seat and measured it out to get the side, make sure that I have enough of the canvas. And so now I'm going to paint the stripes on here to make this look like grain sack. Now, um, basically I'm using painter's tape. You can do any kind of pattern that you want. For me, I'm just doing the one wide stripe down the center with two small stripes on either side. So I'm gonna start out with my big one on in, running down the middle. And just as a technique that I've used in past um, videos and stuff, and I'll link those above for you, the different ones I've used this in, this technique, is I'm going to use Mod Podge first. Put this down, that helps kind of seal where you've got the tape or it's a template or whatever. Let that dry and then we're gonna go back and paint on top of it. So let's get started. Now I'm just using a foam brush to put this in and then what we'll be using dabbing motion to get this cover. And I'm starting from one end to going about halfway. We'll let that dry and I'll do the other side. to let this fully dry and then we'll be ready to do the paint. And you can see that I have already done some of the painting and now I'm just going to show you how I peel up the tape, move it to the other side of the thicker line that runs down the middle and it doesn't have to be perfect, you know, just get it as close as you can. And then you're going to pull off the second piece of tape and you're going to create your thinner line on the other side. together. So of course because the old bench had buttonholes and I'm not putting buttons back in it, I needed, you'll need some poly feel is what it's low loft, you know it's like batting, just a sheet of batting that we're going to put over the top of it and um, also of course you'll need your staple gun. But the first thing we're going to do is we are going to put this down face down and kind of center it up on this table. Of course, it is a bit bigger than what we're doing, so it's about center. All right, and now we're going to put down our polyfill, and of course, this comes in a, a roll, and I'm actually going to keep it. It's actually two pieces rolled up because it's the thin kind, but I'm going to keep it doubled over, kind of give it a little bit thicker base to it. And now we're going to lay the bench seat cushion and board and all that fun stuff right on top of it. And kind of like to see about the being centered. All right, so now we are ready to staple away. 
and basically we're going to go from the center out on um, all four sides. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to do the corners. Now, of course, you can see on this one that it's got a long ear on it, like this. You want to pull it up. You have it kind of cornered like this, see? And then you'll open it up a little bit and kind of take it and pull and make sure that you can fasten it with the staple gun and that's where you're going to start your cut. So then, hope y'all can see this. So then at where I've got my fingers, I'm just gonna cut straight up. Okay. And what that's done is that kind of gives you this and then of course when you pull, that's where we're gonna staple. So we've got that pulled up and we're gonna staple it right there. All right, so then you've got these and that's a little too much too, so we're gonna do it again. We're gonna pull up right here, make sure where we're stapling it. I've got my little finger there and we're just gonna cut straight up cut some of that excess off and again we're going to pull up there and staple and on this side pulling up tautly I've got my finger cutting this off Pulling it up, I'm kind of overlapping it right there, right there. I'm pulling it this way, and all of this that I've got up here, we're going to cut off all of this in a minute. But now we've got a pretty good little tuft corner right there. Crazy. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Brian's bench is back ready to go. My bench. <laughs> Thanks, babe. Looks good. Looks good. Yeah. Yep. No more. Ready to go. No more hole in it. Yep. No more. No more worn leather spots. Now it's good and All right. Ready to be. Ready to be loved on. Ready to be used. I'm sitting on every morning. Mm -hmm. To get dressed to go to work, bench. <laughs> Looks good now. Good job, babe. Thank you. Well, Fixer family, here it is, the finished project. I will definitely make sure I insert some pictures right here so that you guys can see it a little more close up, so to speak. And I'm so excited about it. I've had this bench for a long time, 
My mom gave it to me several years ago as a birthday gift and it has held up so well and I was able to give it a little bit newer look to the top of it, kind of a new old <laughs> anyway. And this too can tell you that you can take items in your home right now and bring new life to them, spruce them up. Um, if you're changing your decor, you can just do a little change to them to make them match as well. Not having to go out and spend a whole bunch of money because this fabric was real inexpensive, already had the paint staple gun staples just those things like that that I already had on hand so i was able to give this um, a spruce up kind of fixing the top because it you know had worn out a bit but you guys can do that as well and i am so glad that i was able to do this with you so guys if you like this video make sure that you give it a big thumbs up that helps my channel out so much and if this is the first time to my channel welcome i'm so glad you were here love for you to become a part of the fixer family and it is so easy simple and free just to hit that little subscribe button right down there and the notification bell next to it because that will remind you every time i upload a new video it'll let you know so guys i am so glad that you were here and i want you always to remember to keep looking up because that's where it all is i'll see you on the next video